Caddis Maximus here in April 2020. I'm doing a review of the phone soap UVC Wavelength Phone Sanitizer. UVC is very damaging to organic molecules because it is a high intensity or a high frequency form of radiation. And in this particular bandwidth, uh, in the UVC bandwidth, it is very damaging. As a matter of fact, the ozone layer is what blocks it, and that's credited with complex life on Earth, allowing us to exist and allowing things that can potentially infect us to exist on top of that. This came out about three years ago. Shark Tank product ended up on QVC. Really surprising. I was just researching this today because I found it at a thrift store a couple of years ago and thought in current times, I should probably dig out this sanitizer. Surprisingly enough, because it was a Shark Tank product, they did a bunch of promotion stuff. There's even a Discovery Channel segment. All the tests are actually that this one works versus many lesser, uh, cheaper style of these units simply because they're using big enough and large enough intensity bulbs. UVC lights that are even weak will work, but they just need time. Such as in a hospital, they'll have a big, they, they kind of look like weird robots, but they're not. They're just carts that look like maybe pylons, like the kind that stop cars. They have a bunch of UV bulbs, and they'll pull them into a hospital room and let it sit there for a few hours to really bake the hospital room. This is pretty intense and only runs in automated 10-minute cycles and seems to work. But, of course, if you want to be safe, you can just open and close the lid, and it will recycle the product. It does have a plastic bottom, or excuse me, I should say a glass bottom plate I was just discovering. we got a hardened steels pick here, and it is not scratching that. So I appreciate that it does have a glass bottom plate to protect the bottom bulb. We'll accept huge phones. This is a Galaxy S8 Active with the uh, dual layer case on it, and it will accept that. I've tested this. It will work with the Galaxy S20 Ultra, Samsung Notes. It will accept all of it, and even with that thick profile, it will still work. One thing I should make note of is there's lots of hidden areas in cases like behind them. So a case like this, if you were to properly sanitize it, you need to pull off each individual piece of the case, sanitize it individually, the case, the boot, and then the phone to get a proper sanitization. So you do want to keep that in mind, but these do work. Tons of discovery. There's discovery channel tests, tons of YouTube videos because it was a Shark Tank product, tons of promotion. So it actually works. They were surprisingly expensive retail. I think on QVC at one point, they're trying to get 80 bucks. They can be found as cheap as 50 bucks. And then now in April, 2020, people are trying to get a buck 50, 150, which is obviously outrageous. And it just, it's due to the current conditions why this has become a price gouging object. Just like N95 masks and people who aren't really familiar with the N95, those are just proper dust masks that actually form a seal and I made a mistake in a previous video, and I should mention that. These types of masks are surgical masks. These are to prevent you from infecting other people, but they don't provide a seal around your face like a dust mask does. And that is what would prevent you from getting infected because it prevents you from inhaling particles. A surgical mask just prevents you from sending out particles. And among all the doctors and everybody else who needs an N95 mask, there's still all the people who traditionally need them and people who still have jobs and are working, doing construction, cleaning, sanding, all those other people who also need N95 grade particulate filter masks are having just a hard time finding them. Surprising how masks can actually affect a whole variety of, of industries uh, outside of medical care and uh, just cause a compounding issue where you have people who either would normally wear a mask, not wearing them, suffering a medical issue, putting more strain on the medical system, businesses and activities that are, or projects, work that is now delayed and not being done because people can't get a hold of the mask. It's really a terrible situation. So UV light is a great way. If they had, there are bigger versions of UV sanitizers and you could put masks in them and they would help sanitize them. And they, I'm sure it require several cycles. When I put my phone in this unit, I usually keep, I usually cycle it a couple, three times just to really make sure because you're not hurting anything by applying a little extra UV besides some extra wear on the bulbs. And that is why it's on automated 10 minute cycles. You may read articles. There was one done during the SARS outbreak 
which is also a COVID coronavirus family. And they did just a standard like hospital dosage, which was like 60 millijoules for a certain area. And it took about 40 minutes for it to kill the virus. But they, the UVC does work. The reason that the phone soap is on 10 minute cycles and seems to get away with it once again is because you do have large, dual large bulbs and they're, you know, a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch. They're extremely close to the surface that you're treating. So it allows them to achieve much higher uh, concentrations of UVC light, therefore accelerating its effectiveness. That radiation is essentially knocking apart molecules and atoms kind of like a shotgun and that's how it actually quote unquote kills is it just you know through electromagn a form of electromagnetic radiation it is mechanically destroying uh those little spheres is what they are the little bubbles that contain genetic information so my issue is that this is rated at 2.1 amps or 2100 milliamps but i had some issues with its charging because if i would have the phone charging it does have a usb a and a usb c pass through it's not quick charging it's a five watt uh pass through charging <clears throat> which is you know to be modern enough to include a usb c and then to have such a slow charge rate it's a little ridiculous even though they have other models which either have a built-in battery or a model that has um, wireless charging are pretty trick. Devices are power hungry. And so I found that the light it wouldn't cycle or turn on properly. When I'd have a phone charging, what I ended up doing was it came with a pretty cheap power brick. I actually upgraded to this EPS2, which is a three amp or a 15 watt five volt power brick. It does use four millimeter, this concentric circle plug, the center positive, is four millimeters if you do want to order one so i got a hold of uh just a bit more powerful instead of the 10 watt this is a 15 watt brick and it seems to be a lot more reliable now when i open and close it it'd especially be finicky if i had it open when i plugged it in of course the version 3 has this other issue here which is the power plug is right there on the behind the lid and because of the low hinge point the lid comes up and hits the power cord without being able to open fully so just definitely just a little bit annoying here. We can probably get a quick peek of the blue light. It shines through this. I want to hold my finger over the top of that. I believe that would filter UVC and it's just a visible uh, blue light. The bulbs that produce ultraviolet C don't produce it perfectly. There is some visible spectrum. And so that's what that light blue, that's just a clear plastic piece to let you know that it's on, but it's actually the bulb itself. Um, the magnetic switch is pretty good. You can only crack it open maybe a, a quarter of an inch before it will turn off. And then it just turns back on and reruns a 10 minute cycle. So I should have re probably reviewed this a long time ago, but I'm, plenty of other people already have. And just want to throw my two bits into it. It's also, this one is held together. It's ABS plastic and you have to use, you know, like guitar picks to actually take it apart. And I was thinking of modifying it basically to have just a regular on off switch and completely bypassing the timer. So I could just turn it on, have it on as long as I wanted to. It does have like a little pass through with like a little plastic, you know, seal, little UV seal or something there, a little silicone piece. So you can run the cable into the unit while you're charging it. So at least I thought of that. So I'll do this. I'm kind of doing this review even though these are sold out they'll eventually be in stock and these things are actually pretty handy because you can have them around the house and really it is true that like cell phones are some of the most dirty devices so you can just put your phone in there it's not it doesn't have a metal housing so you'll still get your calls and text messages they'll be muffled inside it and one or two 10 minute cycles and you'll actually have a pretty clean phone you know a little bit longer if you have a case and you have to deal independently sanitizing the pieces it's just surprising uh, UVC based products aren't more common when they can be used in a safe fashion where you won't get exposed. I mean, UVC is really bad for your skin. It really, it's a strong form of radiation. That's why it works in the first place. So you have to respect it. You don't want to fiddle with this thing and, and be looking at the blue light. Don't look at the sky blue light, just like a nuclear reactor. Not good. This is not nuclear radiation. Uh, this is just high frequency electromagnetic radiation. 
because just like radio waves, light are the same thing as radio waves, a different frequency. And just wanted to say generally, this one has worked for a good couple years. I've only used it on and off and forgot about the last few months and realized I had it. So it's just a great thing. And of course, anything that you can fit in here, you can sanitize. You just have to be careful. The upper bulb is not protected. Very easy. That's just a thin glass tube. Very easy to break, but you can put in, uh, you know, hemostats to all sorts of stuff, even like little surgical masks or whatever. Um, you can put in here and sanitize. And that's what's kind of nice about that. So you think, you know, and there would be uh, larger chamber versions of these, and then you could actually use them to sanitize masks. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.